I've been stuck in the limp like a dumb truck looking stupid for around five years not knowing whether I will get to the point of making it in life. I lost my job. I lost my friends. I lost hope in life. I lost everything. The whole thing seemed to me like I was in different planet. And then one day I woke up and uh, made a decision. At first, I couldn't understand why I had woken up. And then I felt the itchy fingers close around my wrist. It's a strange and scary sensation to suddenly forget your own name. The room was empty. No food to eat. No water to drink. I thought for a while and I went to a local authority personnel who then gave me the work of clearing the sides of the road. As I was doing the work, a lot of people and I looked at me. Others insulted me and called me different names. Caterpillar. Good job. So it's now a human being doing this job. Eh? Work under government. Thank you, sir. Good job. me? How dare you? Are you mad? Is something wrong with your head? Okay, no problem. I can understand. Poverty has spoiled your mentality, your sense of reasoning, right? Mad. Look at you. Your mates are there in town looking for a job. See your life. See what you're doing here. Poverty runs in your generation. I don't blame you. I blame your poverty stricken mind. Sorry. But I didn't give up. The only thing I could do was to pray and save some money every day before I sleep, though I didn't eat good food. Because our people say, when the monkey cannot reach the ripe banana, the monkey says it's not sweet. <laughs> so I was just feeding on whatever I could afford. At some point, I started doing cobbler job. It was from this point that I made yet another decision of avoiding two things at all cost. I started avoiding caring what people think and thinking what people care. Because if you try to please all, you will please none. But one important thing I could not forget was to pray and save the little money I got. Mm. 
And then I remember there came a time when I started making local chapati from a nearby trading center. The worst thing was I didn't have any knowledge of the business but I got started anyways. And eventually things were okay. You know, one thing I ever learned was to be honest and kind to everyone regardless of their status. I kept focusing till I opened up a small shop within the same trading center which just counted items in the shop. Of course, the capital was not enough, but I had a strong faith and I believed in myself. One thing that kept me pushing was uh, avoiding the aspect of love relationship. I was free from the stress of love. Though people say love is important, but to me it's not necessary to some point because the Bible tells us that there is time for everything. As of now, I have three big shops in town that I occasionally operate and uh, I have acquired most of the things that I lacked. I always make sure I take 50% of the profit I make from my businesses to my savings account before I get back home in the evening. As you can see, today I live peacefully in my apartment with my dogs, my well-mannered watchman, and my beautiful house help. I still hope and believe that I will be better than as I am today in a few years to come.